Hey guys, today I'm playing some more Prison Architect, and uh, I don't really remember what happened last time. I think everything went well, though. I don't think there was, like, shit tons of riots, so... I mean, <laughs> it's fine! Yeah, no, it continues to be a mess. We have a morgue full of dead guards. My morgue is not big enough, because so many people die. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck sticks. Yeah, uh, so yeah, last time was a bit of a shambles. But as I always say, at the end of this episode, it'll be a better place than it was at the end of last episode. Um, so yeah, that's what we're shooting for. And firstly, we're going to need more guards. Because we've got more prisoners now. Let's go for 55 guards. Let's go really... Let's go to 60. Let's go crazy. Let's, we've got a lot of money. Let's, let's go crazy. Now, um, yeah. I kind of feel like I need to properly finish off the shower. Um, people aren't cleaning a lot, I've noticed. I know it's a big prison, but it's also a big cleaning cupboard. So, I mean, why is this guy outside cleaning whatever when he should clearly be cleaning this fucking shower? I mean, okay, I mean, I guess they're getting around to it. Anyway, uh, what I do need to do is build out these, like, shower blocks some more. Oh, no. Huh. Because I also need to expand the shower outward. Right? Because it needs one more wall. Because then you can maybe get more... Sh you know, I'm not going to do that now because I don't really feel like expanding a shower right now. But yeah, at some point that probably will be a relevant thing to do. Um, so yeah. Uh, I also might split the shower into two. Because people are probably getting kind of murdery, you know? It seems... That seems to be the theme of my prison, though. So maybe I'll split the sh shower into two. Although they don't seem to be angry in the shower. They seem to be angry all the time. Like, just constantly. Um, these doors should be locked open. Because I don't want people waiting at doors for ages. It kills productivity and it makes them mad. And we don't pe want people mad because then they start, you know, doing crazy shit. Um, these are only here for, like, if I really need to lock down whole blocks. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. All right. There we go. Got ourselves a good looking shower block. We need to put the shower heads in. Apparently, slash, I think I know that you don't actually need the walls there, but it looks kind of tacky if you don't put walls in with the showers. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep it like that. Oh, fuck sticks. Yes. Oh, fuck sticks. <laughs> oh, God. why do you keep rotating different ways? Did I do that? No, I, I couldn't possibly have. Um, Alright. This is taking... Oh, it's when you middle click. Someone's getting assaulted. Oh. You're dead. You're... Um, how did he get a baton? Dude! He's in solitaire... Oh my god, he is fucking people up. This guy's insane. He almost took down a guard. Oh, he got the baton off the guard. This guy is intense. I mean, we should probably give him the chair. He's just too dangerous. Um, talking of the chair, I need to get uh, an electric chair at some point, and we will do that. Um, but currently, I'm focusing on the core part of the prison, just like making it really big, really functional, and hopefully, eventually, there'll be lots of people for me to kill. Uh, now, it looks kind of like they're carrying concrete. Oh, no, yeah. I thought they were carrying normal bricks, is what I meant to say. Um, which would have been bad, because I want concrete walls. I don't want people to feel like they're in a nice place, you know? I mean, that's that's dangerous. You don't want people starting to feel, you know, happy. It's a dangerous thing. <laughs> I, run a, I run a good institution where no one is happy ever. But, you know, I mean, we're not going for Norway here. Even though Norway has just the best prison system, you know? So little re -offending. It's so great. Although, a lot of the time, the assessment that, well, America should just do that, I also think the culture is different around it. Like, I think if you rampantly kind of changed um, the prison system now in America, it would have negative effects. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> a bit more Peter analyzing prison systems, which is great. That's like 90% of the show. Show. <laughs> like it's a real thing. Like it's not just me fucking around. Um, anyway, we need to... There were some doors here briefly. They need to not have that floor there anymore because it looks like shit. Um, we good. Still, someone can't be put in a place. He's still in the holding cell. I don't know what that's about, and uh, I'm actually not going to question it. I think it's fine. 
You know, he'll just stay there until the end of days. And that's okay, you know? He'll just be in the holding cell forever. Now, also at the end of last episode, I, you know, also had another mental breakdown. Um, when I couldn't find Dave America. Uh, which, yeah. I actually don't know if you saw him, because I haven't released that episode yet. Because I'm recording a lot of these, because I really enjoy them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they will... Oh, thanks, phone. Thanks for being really loud and on my desk. That was super helpful to the video. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. There we go. Put that there and that there. That'll do for now. Right, yeah, so Dave America, I transferred him, but he didn't turn up. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think he is anywhere. I don't think we actually have Dave America in this prison. Um, so if we look at prisoners... I just don't see him. Uh, yeah, I don't see his hair anywhere. I don't see his name anywhere. For a while I thought he was dead, but I don't think that happened. Because, um, you know, I would have seen that. I would have noticed if Dave America had died. He's also not here. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what that's about either. How is my solitary, though? Anyway, we'll find him sometime or whatever. Um, solitary's looking pretty full. Is that Dave America? No. Ian, no, no, Ugh, whatever. Yeah, so yeah, um, I also need, will need another shower here, so we should probably start working on that. Because, um, you know, we don't want, you don't, you, you, don't, you don't want people having to all go into the same shower when the prison is holding, like, 400 people or whatever. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start working on this shower as well, which is, you know, pretty important. Okay. Alright. And then shower heads? There we go. Oh, that's not right. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, delete all the pipe. Can you, surely it should only do that if I have utilities selected. Like, I think there are some flaws in the prison architect building system. And it, it, it's a little annoying. Um, I know these aren't very well laid out, but I, I, I don't care. Um... I mean, I don't think anyone watches my videos for the expectation of some kind of perfection of anything. Because that's not really how I roll. It's more about just sort of doing things until they're acceptable. Uh, you know what? That should be the tagline. Um, doing things until they're acceptable. Um, oh yeah, delete the whole pipe. That's super helpful. Yeah. Tape gaming. Doing things until they're acceptable. Okay, alright, you fucker. There we go. Toit! Um, we're gonna need some more power cables. It's gonna be kind of expensive. We're gonna put that on the second power grid. Um, cause why not? We're gonna drag it up here, cause that'll just make it easier. Um, same with this. Yeah, that's actually terrible. Don't do that. We should put it in the hallway. Um, like that. And then similarly. We'll deal with that later. Okay, and then this one will be on this power grid. Cool. We're good. Um, so it's work time. I think we're going to have a shakedown. Just really keep tabs on things. A lot of people are getting weapons. How? Actually, what is the supply and demand for weapons? They're all very high prices. Um, very big demand for weapons. Not a big supply. Decent supply, though. Yeah, there's a huge demand for weapons, um, which implies people want to kill people, so that's annoying. Um, people can still work when they need to be searched, right? Ooh, 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 no, oh, that's real bad. Okay, yeah, people are getting a little antsy in solitary. Um, they're, they're not super loving the whole 100-hour stint in solitary, I uh, These guys aren't even in that long. I mean, he's dead, so it doesn't matter, but, yeah, that guy's still got 30 hours, but he's not fucking around. See, people as bitches. Um, oh, yeah, you should probably, I should, oh, god damn, I really shouldn't have put it in all of these solitary cells. That was really stupid of me. Um, god damn, put a water pipe through the solitary cells. And they can't escape because they're in a toilet, uh, I don't think, at least I don't think that's how it works. Uh, yeah. I do realise I've put people in solitary for a hundred hours with no toilet, which is kind of fucked up. Um, but, I mean, I mean, they shouldn't commit crimes then if they don't want to, you know, be treated like subhumans. 
Um, <laughs> I'm an awful person. Oh my god, yeah, just leave your pipes in there. Leave a bunch of metal to be turned into shivs. Oh my Christ. You workmen are the fucking worst. Yeah, not as bad as these guys breaking shit all the time. I have to manually open these doors. I mean, I don't know if I can be bothered to sit here and watch this. I'm just gonna, don't construct this. Whatever, leave the pipe to be done and just build, build this. Yeah, that's much better. I don't want to have to deal with your bullshit. All right. Okay. Okay, we've almost searched the whole place. We're doing pretty well. Is there anything we can be researching? Um, death row, we are researching. I don't have a... Oh, I don't have a guide for that. I'm going to research bank loan just in case the worst happens. The worst being that we run out of money. I don't care about anything else. Um, oh, hey, bro. Hey, man. A disaster at a nearby prison resin rendered a whole section of the facility unusable. We have no choice to transfer the prisoners to your prison, as they have no other suitable facility nearby. They will be arriving soon. Okay. How many? How many? How many prisoners are coming? Oh, I don't have a parole office either. Okay, it doesn't tell me how many... Oh, incoming prisoners in an hour. How many? Hmm. Well, we got a holding cell. We're building cells. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This isn't a massive problem. I mean, not at all. You know, this is fine. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. No. There's going to be some serious horribleness going down in my prison pretty soon when they bring in all those fucking prisoners. Um, you know what I might do is I'm going to include the door in that uh, quick build thing. Oh fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Like that. No, like, there we go. Nice. Nice. That's looking good. Alright. Uh, so we'll do that. Yeah, that's going to be weird. Um, and then... For fuck's sake, I am the worst at this. It takes me so long to just figure out this cloning thing. Um, and we do that. Yeah. And then that. And then that. And then we're going to want to... Oh, God damn it. Got to stop closing it because you can just do that. Um, yeah, so then I'll do that and it'll build the doors as well. I don't even have to think about it now. I mean, obviously, they'll need power and stuff, but I don't really care about them having power and water. That's not actually important. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a shit ton of... Okay, stop the shakedown because we're going to be want to be prepared for the incoming prisoners. Um, don't know why you have a big door there, that doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, oh, I need power to power a boiler, that's just stupid. Boilers just automatically do stuff, wow, there's a lot of blood in this cell. How many prisoners are coming in? And are they minimum security? Because if they are, they're going to get super murdered. Just like really quickly, they're going to just be murdered. Because um, all of these guys are pretty pissed off. Um, ugh, they're all putting in pipes. I need you to be building my prison more. And what I also need is a parole office. Oh, that's four buses. Okay. This is fine. Just keep them on the buses. Build a wall here. I don't care. It's not a terrible idea. Uh, <laughs> also wouldn't be able to import anything. Yo! Not allowed in the kennel. Why am I not doing this more readily? You're not allowed in the staff room or the kennel or security, okay? None of that shit. Um, ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Weapons free. There we go. Yeah, that's nine deaths today, apparently. Apparently this is the same day as we started, as we ended last time. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger canty. We're gonna need a lot of stuff, basically. <laughs> I might just... Ooh, maybe this is a good idea. A good time to make my fighting arena. What I do notice is these aren't right. I've one's very slightly off, so I'm gonna have to deal with that right now. Oh, that's not good. That is that is real bad. Oh no, no. Luckily, nothing's been built yet, so it's fine. Um, cancel this. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Nothing's been built. We're fine. No mental breakdown needed. It's fine. It, everything's fine. Um, <laughs> makes it really convincing when you yell that. Uh, oh, what? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what's happening. Um, needs to be worn down. Oh, you're an asshole. You are, you are such a dick. There, there we go. That's what needs to happen. Like that. And then that. And then that. There we go. Build that. Build it super fast. Make it, because we got prisoners, but they're still waiting in the buses. That's fine. That's where we want them. Okay, I don't really need two cameras here, but yeah, might as well. There's no reason not to. Um, yeah, it's gonna get real violent up in here. It's gonna get real violent. <laughs> yeah, especially when they're all forced into a holding cell. You need a bigger canteen as well. Um, so... Uh, can I just drag this? Oh my god! Wow, that would make everything so much quicker if I'd known that I could just drag this. I mean, annoyingly, it's for some reason one off. I guess that's the problem with something you over drag. Um, there we go, though. Yeah, that's fucked. Still, though, you can just drag things like that. That is the best. It's so that is so much quicker to build things. I don't have to. It's actually not that much quicker. Um, just means I don't have to position things as much. There we go. Ah, oh, this is this is a revelation. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, we need to get food distribution. No, you need to be going here. Okay. I think that's good. All right. We getting any of these guys in yet? There's blood near the bus, so I assume that means someone's been killed on the bus, which is good. That's one less prisoner to deal with, you know. Um, oh good, they're all maximum security. They're, they'll be fine in this prison. Yo! Yo, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, seriously, oh, it's over here. Take him down. Stop punching that door! Okay, he's compliant, are you sure? Oh god damn it, this, yeah, it's getting pretty violent. We now have 200 prisoners in and only 184 cells, but it's fine. We're building new ones. It's good. We didn't even get paid for that. Okay, get them all in a, an arena, have them fight to the death. I mean, that's not the worst idea. Just have them kill each other, because I'm not getting paid for this. I mean, I will get more money each day, and that's great and all, but I didn't get a down payment on these prisoners. So. Basically, anyone who doesn't fit in these cells, I may just have them murdered, you know, push them to commit a crime, and um, then murder them, or just lock them in a room with each other, you know? I got 20 grand, I uh, got a grant payment though, <laughs> I cannot talk today. Um, hey, there, I made my prison big enough, there's 200 prisoners, so in a way, it was a good thing, although I was going to do that anyway, so fuck them. Um, can I get another grant? Oh, yeah, a bunch of crowns. Cell block E. Yeah, money's money. Crack down on drugs. Uh, uh. Let's go print a prison manufacturing facility. I really want to be building things right now. And that's what we're going to start to do um, after I also build things like a parole office. Let's do that first. Well, so let's just do them at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to work in a parole office because we're going to want to start paroling some of these prisoners. Um... Yeah, let's just fill up the rest of this now. Uh, and then we'll just kind of deal with it as it comes. Um, yeah, this will have a normal door on it. No, it'll have a staff. No, it'll have a normal door on it. Um, God damn it. What, what kind of dumbass wiring system is this? Uh, how do I not have the foresight to... Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um... Yeah, that'll be where there'll be a parole office. And then up here, I'm thinking we divide this room into two. And then some of them maybe will be classrooms or whatever, something stupid like that. And one of them will be a workshop, which this all may get moved at some point. But I'm thinking for now, we just want to start actually building things. Because we have, like, no programs right now. Oh, yeah, I should be doing at least, like, some programs. I can do some. Like, can't do that. Could do that, but I don't really want people in the kitchen. I don't trust them. Um, 
Pharmacological drug treatment. Yeah, we can do that. Pharmacological. Uh, alcohol therapy group. Yeah, we've got the stuff for that. Apparently I'm not doing guard taser certification, so I don't have a classroom. So that's why none of my guards have tasers. Oh shit. Yeah, we need a classroom. Um, parole hearing. Oh, yeah, I have not really been taking care of my prisoners very well. Um, but, you know. I mean, that doesn't matter. Because, you know, I don't care. <laughs> no, yeah, we're gonna... We're, we'll make that into classrooms. We're gonna... It'll be great. We'll start start this start this process. Start the healing process. And also the process of getting tasers into every guard's hand. Which isn't really a healing process. But, I mean, it is a process that will... Well, more of an inflicting pain process. But it means I don't have to hit them with a baton. I'd rather be tased than have my head kicked in with a baton. You know? I mean... I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> yeah, we handled that like a pro. We've got all the prisoners in now, probably. I literally don't know. Um, oh, we do, do. We need to deploy some guys in there, though. Um, like, oh, wow. We, wow, our deployment is fucked. Oh, yeah, we can't actually deploy guys in here right now. Well, that's fine. Well, we can, but it's not like concrete rooms yet. Um, all right, okay. We the guards are doing laundry. Prisoners should do laundry. You guards must be really bored. Huh, <sighs> okay. It's actually a pretty productive episode. I don't feel feeling like I'm not feeling very funny, but I'm feeling productive. So I think you you know, you some days we'll have we'll build stuff and some days we'll like yell about things. You know, that's that's the way it goes. <laughs> Yay. Alright. Yeah, just keep building, just keep building, just always be building. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. I hate you so much. There we go. Um, yeah, because if we just constantly build, then... Definitely will be good. Although, we will run out of money if we just constantly build. Um, yeah, so I need this to be like this. There we go. Ooh. That's not... I fucked something up. Oh, ha, 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 no! I put the doors in the thing. Don't you hate it when you put the doors in the thing? It's the fucking worst. Um, yeah, these aren't. Oh, these aren't. Really put the doors inside the wall. That's what I was trying to say. Um, uh, it makes this take so much longer. <laughs> right. I'm honestly thinking the cloning stuff actually doesn't make it quicker because I fuck up so frequently. Um, cause you know. Oh, fuck you somehow. What happened? Oh, I put the doors in the walls in the thing. Oh, I am the fucking worst at this game. Uh, that is the sound of me dying. Um, I imagine that's what it sounds like. Okay, let's put this, put the... Fucking lotion in the basket. Um, silence of the lamb. That's nothing! You piece of sh- Oh, right. Yeah, I see what happened there. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on! I deleted something. But there's no control Z. Or well, control Z if you're wrong about how to speak. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, come on. It's our language, bro. Just, just, just you know. Say it in the Queens, bro. Then you get to be like, I speak the Queens English. And it's like, yeah, that's super awesome. Because, you know, Queens the best. Constitutional monarchy, forever. Uh, <laughs> although, obviously, you know, Queen doesn't have to do anything anymore. Just sort of, you know, is, is a little tool we have for, like, oh, can't send a politician right now. Guess we'll just send a, send a Queen. Um... Okay, they put that door in the wrong way around, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, I guess that's a kind of... Oh, that's a box. Yeah, right, no, we actually do need to put the door in there. Not just leave the box with the door in there. That's not actually going to help. Um, Alright, let's try and, for, for once and for all, tackle the incredibly difficult task of building a bunch of cells that I've already built before and can just copy and paste. Because apparently I'm incapable of that task. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, nailed it. I'm tired. Yeah, I got up before 7 today, which is pretty fucked. The day before, I got up at 1. Because um, I'm a really functional adult. 
uh, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, today I actually got up like before seven. I fucking like went into uni to revise. And I actually got a haircut, which I do like once, as, like as infrequently as possible because it is so weird getting a haircut. Like you have to sit in a chair while someone runs their hands through your hair and like tries to talk to you. And I mean, it's a really uncomfortable situation because I don't like talking to anyone. Uh, <laughs> that's not strictly true. There's plenty of people I like talking to, but most people are not. I mean, I don't really want to tell you about my day or have to explain what I do. Usually it's more fun to come up with a persona rather than be like, I study computer science. But yeah, no, I found this uh, hairdresser right near where I live. They didn't do an amazing job, although, you know, this one was fine. But the guy doesn't say a word. He, the only thing he does is ask you if you like it or what you want to be done. And uh, yeah, so I'm a big fan of that. I definitely value not having to talk over um, over a really good haircut because I, I don't care that much. Although I have to say, this one's looking good. So yeah, that's my story about me being a semi-functional human um, today. It was, it was good. It was good shit. Although I couldn't get the fucking printer to work in the library. I can never get a printer to work. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good with computers, you know. I don't. I'm a, I'm a computer science major. I guess you'd say in America. Um, and yeah, and I, I can never get a printer to work. And then while well, I was trying to figure it out, my alarm, um, which was set for like half ten, because that's when I expected I'd get up, starts going off in the university library where you'll get thrown out if you have like a cold. Um, although this wasn't the really silent bit, so it didn't matter. But yeah, basically, I'm, I'm like, is that my alarm? What the fuck? And then I have to, like, run over to my desk, turn it off. Oh, yeah, it was a whole, it was a fucking shambles. I mean, today was fine, but it was a bit shamblesy. But no, I've never been able to get a uh, printer to work. Uh, <laughs> like, I can occasionally print things. But when I'm, what are you doing? You're trying to get out? Oh, you're going to escape. Is that your plan, huh? Yeah, buddy? You're going to get past the snipers. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I really wish we had tasers right now. Talking of which, um, yeah, we should definitely divide up this classroom uh, with concrete walls. So this is a classroom now. I'm gonna put another door up here, I guess. Um, this will be a classroom. We'll just let that guy get beaten to death. It's fine. He'll, he'll be he'll be dead soon. Um, apparently, we have 300 cells. Jesus. Oh, they're in construction. Yeah. Classroom. Where is it? I can never find things. Cl classroom? Cl classroom? Why can't- it's right there, it's highlighted. <laughs> I think if you highlight something to me, I ignore it. Maybe it's like a really weird form of dyslexia. <laughs> Just, yeah. Alright, let's put a bunch of school desks in. We're just gonna put a gajillion in so we can train all these guards to use tasers straight away. Because, oh my god, how do I not have tasers? That's why it's so dangerous. Oh my Christ. Someone died. Um, I will get back to this after I go and check on that death. And after, well, I'll fill up the first classroom. Then we'll go figure out who died. Um, hopefully a prisoner, not a guard. Although I don't think a prisoner would have been killed by the guards. Because weapons free isn't on. Probably. Honestly, don't really know. Tight. Okay. Right, so who died? It's over here. Wow. Weapons free. Just you know, if you, if there's a guy walking past with a gun, just fire it into that crowd. No, it's fine. It got pretty quickly dealt with. Yeah, I don't know who died. Oh, it was just this guy, and he was killed for being a snitch. That's not a murder. That's totally justified. Um, bitch! Oh my Christ, alive! Yeah, we need to divide up the shower. Is there an armed guard about? Because I like someone to die the second after I say weapons free. It makes me feel like I'm gone. Um. <laughs> I don't want to come across as arrogant, but uh, this is from the perspective of God. Alright, okay. This is going pretty well. But anyway, I think this is the end of the episode. Um, because, yeah, it's been like 30 minutes. That's how I like to make them. And yeah, we're making good progress. Filling out the cells. Going to have a first workshop, some classrooms. Going to have parole at some point. Actually going to hire a lawyer. Because, you know, we've got to have some serious legal trouble. I mean, a lot of people have died in my prison. Look at all these guards taking the food to the to these fucking guys. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people die in my prison. Not a lot of people get fed. 
Um, I should look into that. I should build a second kitchen. Oh, look at all this food. There's tons of food. Everyone will be fed. Everybody gets some... Probably not, but anyway, it's fine. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my anecdote about my day, because it was really boring. Uh, but I was functional. I got up, you know, before midday. Before seven, even. Like, ten to seven. Anyway... Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I hope we'll come back for the next episode where we'll be implementing our workshop, giving our gods tasers, finally. Not only you pointed that out, that's on you. Um, maybe making this shower outside. I'm not a big fan of them showering in warm water and inside. That's very humanizing, and I don't like it. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, this has been episode, I want to say, like 10 of Prison Architect Supermax. I'll see you next time.